What's up, everyone? I'm Timothy Alman Jr. This is Milam Asylum. I fucking hate my new phone. The camera on it is fucking garbage. But anyway, you guys are here for Art the Clown. So, Art originally started in All Hallows Eve, where they made one and two. Now, two does not feature Art whatsoever, and apparently, All Hallows of all Hallows Eve 2 was an anthology by uh, a bunch of directors who got together and made a bunch of short films spliced together. Mm. Art the Clown in All Hallows Eve is played by Mike, I think it's Gianelli, who once uh, the director Damien Leone wanted to take um, art on a further journey retired from acting and I don't think Mike could have pulled off um, Art the Clown as well as David Howard Thornton did um, David made that clown um, see I watched Terrifier and then I found out that there was a first movie and I only watched half of Terrifier before someone told me that art started in All Hallows Eve. So then I'm like, okay, pause, go watch Hallows Eve. And then I'm like, that's a different dude playing him. A little bit thicker. Um, you know, they did a pretty good interpretation, um, but he was just overly smiley where um, David plays the character like um, a lot more sarcastically and very animated and I don't think Mike could have been able to pull it off um, perhaps that's probably why Mike retired um, because he knew he wasn't capable of being able to play the character that was written in the script perhaps because the clown and um, you only get to see a little pieces of what art was in all Call of Eve, and I just I just don't think it would have worked. But anyways, um, so all Call of Eve art is some kind of a uh, almost like. The ring, in a way, um, like there's this videotape and arts in it, and then somehow he can manipulate uh, within one world to an another world, kind of like an interdimensional traveling being, which I thought was weird, but yeah, overall cool concept. But see, what happened was I made the mistake of watching Terror One halfway through first. It's a completely different art at that point. Um, and however, the art in One and Two, um, it even changes from the one from One to Two. It's the same art. It's the same guy. It's David Howard and Thornton. But he's two different arts at that point. And I think in Terrifier 2, they were trying to play like a mixture between um, All is Hallows Eve and Terrifier 1. Um, giving you that more of that uh, supernatural side to art. Because, it, yeah, it just, there was a lot in 2 that they never tied together. And you could only... Uh, make assumptions and there's a lot of weird ass <laughs> things in there that were kind of like I don't know about that and some certain lines in there that were like hmm <laughs> questionable but uh yeah Terrifier 2 was a disappointment to the franchise um it just took everything away from art is what made 
art art which kind of sucks because the all is hollow eve they kind of you know art was kind of the pinnacle to that all those anthology stories in one but he wasn't in the film a lot then they gave terrifier all to art um and then you're watching this uh clown just be art you know be be and make art and then three you take all that away from him again and give it to somebody else <clears throat> and then you made some weird fantasy story up that you're trying to like somehow make things work and then you didn't even do that at the end but um uh, yeah so the whole entire franchise and now i understand why there wasn't any more made i mean granted um terrifier just came out in 2022 so it was just there so i don't think they'll be making any more um because terrifier 2 was so bad that i just don't see anybody backing it financially because it was a very horrible movie um it was just boring i wanted to shut it off it was just i was like come on come on come on and i didn't do that with all halls eve or terrifier one so um damien leon needs to get your shit together but anyways so how do you score all three of these now if they're going to make another one which i doubt that they're going to because they really just messed up that second movie um but let's 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 hit um let's hit on the high notes are the makeup effects in the film good yes they are top notch 10 out of 10 old school horror like everything prosthetics and blood everywhere it's it's movie magic cgi as far as i can tell there is zero cgi in this film um so that also brings the point scale up um dialogue little campy at times which is you know kind of uh, in themed with this old school 80s vibe thing they got kind of going on with especially the cinematography is very um, grainy vibe so um, yeah there, there, there's a few things with three or terrifier two that I would have done way differently to make that film better um, there's a lot of stuff I would have done um, visually to draw the audience in because there are certain times where people are leaving and then you're like oh and then it doesn't go where it should and then you have people just continue to leave so so all's hollow leave um I'm slapping that one with a 8 out of 10. Terrifier 1. Um, 9.2. And then Terrifier 2, 4 out of 10. Um, and overall, the franchise is worth checking out. I do highly recommend that you do watch it. It's great. It's amazing. Um special effects in it are just fantastic um art is freaking hilarious like he you know like even before he like something bad happens to him he's just like oh, oh you know and acting all just like like ah <laughs> there's this part where he, a plastic bag rips on him and and it's plastic so he's just blown away that this plastic bag is like got a hole in it and he's just like, like inspecting it just like what the fuck like plastic rips like he acts like 
he didn't realize classic rips. It was fucking fantastic though. So I do highly recommend that you guys check that out. Anyways, that's your review. I'm Timothy Online Jr. And until next time, 